Yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back for another Dre and Jay review. I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And today we have some news for you guys uh, regarding Warner Brothers in DC. Um, you know, as as with Warner Brothers, usually most times the news is always bad. Um, so this was an article uh, that was posted last week. Now I had I had to wait to do this video because I needed to soak it all in. You know, let my emotions boil over, even though I'm probably going to express a lot more emotions when I talk, you know, about this in the video. But Warner Brothers is reportedly searching for a black director to helm a new Superman movie in which the Krypton born superhero will be played by a black actor. According to anonymous sources talking to The Hollywood Reporter, Warner Brothers and DC are committed to hiring a black director to helm the movie, the script for which is being written by Todd Nahisi Coates. The plan is reportedly for the movie to feature a black actor in the role of Superman. A source said it would be tone deaf for J.J. Abrams, who is attached to produce, to also direct. The report has no concrete details on who could take on the role of Superman, nor which directors could be in the running. THR sources do, however, note that this incarnation of Superman will not be part of the DCEU born from the ashes of Snyderverse. Uh, well, I'll get it. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, this article doesn't actually bring up what some other points, but uh, apparently, you know, the Superman that they want to do, you know, and make black is... Kal-El, Clark Kent, and um, I said this in my last video when we when we were talking about Superman and J.J. Abrams being attached to do another Superman movie, and I and I said that um, you know I would be okay with having a black Superman if they went with uh, Calvin Ellis or Val Zod, but. Completely changing the character of Clark Kent, making a white Superman, you know, a white character into a black character, it's forced. Uh, I feel like it's trying to appease to to audience when it doesn't really have to because you can always bring in a character who actually is black for the role. Uh, so I think this is another disappointment by Warner Brothers. Uh, I'm not surprised. Um, this this furiates me. It really pissed me off. And the fact that Warner Brothers, you motherfuckers, were shady enough to have the nerve to do this on Henry Cavill's birthday to drop this news, it just shows how really shady and fucked up you guys really are. So fuck you guys for that. This is some bullshit. I'm being honest. I'm not, and, and, and don't, don't like, if, if you, like, I'm not trying to say, like, I don't want a black Superman. I said I wouldn't mind a black Superman. Val Zod, Earth 2 Superman, or Calvin Ellis from Earth 23 are perfectly good candidates that you could have uh, and you could have the Superman movie take place within those uh, those characters and within, within those universes. Because as, as the DC has said, they want to explore multiverse with the Flash movie and everything else. So why don't you just do that? It makes no sense to me. Why change a character such as Clark Kent and, and make him black. Why force that? I don't I don't understand that. When when Spider Man came out, did motherfuckers did they change Peter Parker and make him black? No. They they created a new character like Miles Morales and introduced him. Now Miles Morales, he probably wasn't popular at the time. He probably didn't he didn't really pick up steam until you know the into the Spider Verse movie, although I was a fan of Miles Morales before that damn movie. But you know, you see how, how much his character has progressed and how much people have actually grown to love his character. Because you created a new character not replacing another one. I just, I, 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 I hate what what Hollywood is doing now. I, I, I really can't stand that shit. Especially when it's an important character. Now some characters I understand like, um, I know when they changed Black Canary and made her, her black. I really didn't mind it, but at the end of the day, like, it didn't really help as well because I feel like that's kind of a force now because in um, Birds of Prey, Bl Black Canary took a bat seat. It was really a Harley Quinn movie. So they didn't really 
put an a emphasis on Black Canary. Um, you know, they didn't really change any of her background. They didn't really t address the fact that maybe, oh, okay, like, it would have been nice if she was black and they actually addressed, like, oh, okay, this is what she had coming up. This is her upbringing, like, um, as a black woman. I can understand some shit like that, but they didn't even uh, do that. They just, all right, we're just going to change this character just to change this character, just to appease the audience, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, you want to say anything? But try to quiet there. I mean... Of course, I'm not with it either. I'm not a crazy Superman fan or DC fan like that. And, um, of course, it's forced. Like you say, Johnny's said all the right things. I mean, I can't knock anything he has said. Like, um, it's a money grab. You know what I mean? It's not even genuine. It's just because, oh, you know what? Right now, there's a lot going on in the world. You know what I mean? The Black Lives Matter movement, all that stuff that's going on. This is, a, this is an easy way to get black people to come in there, see their movie, and be like, oh, we got black Superman. And just, and just, and just, and just make money off of it. It's a money grab. And the problem with that is, is you're gonna have people that are like, gonna like, oh, I'm gonna support that shit. Like, but then it's like, it's not really truly genuine because you have real, you have all these black. Like, the good thing about doing this video late, I was able to do more research and look at other people's videos and learn more about other black characters that are very like not heard of in the DC universe that that you know are do exist but never been talked about. That are black, and instead of taking a character like that or taking like you said. Um, Val Zod and making that character cool and showing off a real black character. You're choosing to take a character that's already popular and just make them black and say, hey, it's, it's lazy. It's lazy work. Um, it's disrespectful to the creator of these characters. Like, like, and the fact that Simon, it's not genius because also they're forcing with the black director. Like, if you told me, you were, like, and it says tone deaf, but it's like, what, what kind of backstory are you going to really give Clark Kent if he's African American from Kansas? I mean, I, don't, I just don't know what you're going to really do with the backstory. Like, Black Panther made sense to have a black director because T'Challa and Black Panther is very that, that character is very controversial. It deals a lot with politics and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It doesn't his if you look at the Black Panther comic book series, even the cartoons or anything like that, it's all about a lot of political things. You know what I mean? So that made more sense and to do that character like that. But like with Superman, I write you just go out and do the new character and make him cool. Like because at the end of the day, um, I was telling some friends about this stuff last night and um, they were saying, well, bro, like. It's not for the, the the real like nerds and so like the people that really care for that stuff. Just for the average viewer. And my point on that is, if it's about the average viewer, then then you should have to worry. You should have, you should have to force a character. You should be able to take a character right and make that character cool. And what I mean by that is, you look at something like the you look at a team like the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? That's a team that nobody even heard of. I, I didn't know nothing about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you know anything about Guardians of the Galaxy like that for not real? Really. Now, my, nobody knew anything about the Guardians of the Galaxy, but people love those characters. I remember when Avengers and Infinity War, people were like. God, where the guard? The guardians are there. That's all people care about. People like the guardians of the galaxy. That's a low key group of people that are very not really that cool, like pop, like popular mm -hmm. like that. As far as like you look at just Marvel in general, like character wise, they're not at the top of the list, but they're cool because they made them cool. And I think that's part of directing and, and and producing and filmmaking is when you can take art and take a character and make something great out of it. You know what I mean? Just like Miles Morales. Miles Morales is popping now because of movies and sh and the cart like um the, the comics, but the movie also. That's a good ass movie and people enjoyed it and they liked Miles Morales. Now people like Miles Morales, so it's like. You can do good art. You just have to... If you if you can make these characters cool. So I don't want to hear the thing like, oh, Clark Kent's already popular. We'll make him black and people are going to jump on. Like, No, that's lazy writing. I think that's lazy writing. And I think it's a to it's doing that token tokenized black thing. And I think it's just I think it's disrespectful to the, the, the careers of the characters and these black characters that you truly do have that you're basically putting in the shelf because you want just a hey, money grab, money grab. Yeah. So it's not genuine. If you were to do... If you were telling me you want to make a black character because hey, we want to do this black character. That's different. But you're taking a character that's white and it's turned them black for the money and, and, and it's called what it is and to be honest with you i mean you look at the old justice league cartoon back in the day mm -hmm. like why was john stewart such a, a prized character like we we all love john stewart why because he was the black he was the you know the only black member of the team it made him stand out i actually yeah. like i that's what why, like we don't even have john stewart movie and they didn't take yeah that's like you could you could have been to john stewart and you didn't take hal al jordan al jordan and make him black you just had John Stewart come. Exactly. You created a new character. Like you can do that. You don't have to just take what's already there and 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 you don't have to take from others people's plate to pull on somebody else's plate. You don't have to do that. If you really want equality and all this, like you want to do equality or make equal roles for everybody, you just create new roles, create new characters. You it, know what I mean? It's, it, it's just laziness. And I just hate the fact that it's Warner Brothers that's trying to force this agenda of let's tokenize uh, and, and include black, black you know black people in the storyline when. 
in in reality, you cut out most of the black people that were in Zack Snyder's Justice. Called the minority people. Yeah. yeah, you you cut out all the minority people. You've bit you've basically trashed Ray Fisher and and all the people involved on set within that. So I mean, I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna respect black people and and prioritize African Americans, first thing you should be doing is probably apologizing to Ray Fisher for anything that you caused with him exactly. on the set. Um, secondly, there are many like you like you said there are many black characters that that. We don't even talk about. There is Icon. He, he's a, a, a black character. John Stewart. Uh, fucking Vitson. Like, there, there are so many black characters with involved in DC that, you know, fans will never know because we instead decide, let's go ahead and change white ones and yeah. make them black. And I don't want that excuse about, oh, they're not cool, they're not cool. That's bullshit. That's a fucking cop ass bullshit because at the end of the day, a lot of these characters, you look at the, you look at the MCU, I hate to break the MCU in this situation, but you look at the MCU. Iron Man was not like Iron Man. We knew about him, but Iron Man wasn't what he is today. Iron Man became cool. You had Robert Downey Jr. and good direction, good directing, and you created a character who was cool. All look at the MCU character. Most of those characters are not like household names, star the, the star of like X Men, all them kind of characters. Yeah. But you love those characters now because let me get this right. You love those characters because of good dire- good films that you enjoy and good and good just good character building. And also, you mentioned the MCU because the MCU. You look at the first couple movies, you had Iron Man, you had Cap, you had all the uh, Thor, all these movies. And then when Black Panther came out, like you saw how much hype it got and, and how much it, prominent that it made Black Panther as a character. I feel like DC could easily do that with with a, with a Black yeah. superhero as well, like a Jon Stewart or, or the Calvin Ellis Superman. I mean, shit, Calvin Ellis... Is the president of the United States in his universe? Like, what kind? Of, what? How is it's that? Cool not, how is that not a cool storyline to do? Yeah, he's a black. He's a black president, and he's a superhero. Yeah, like, come on, man. And also, I gotta say this because this has been eight years since Man of Steel came out, and I still haven't got a Man of Steel sequel, and that's bullshit on you, Warner Brothers. I that's that's one of the biggest things that that's the biggest problem with me. Is that the fact that we have characters like Ant Man, we have Thor, we have all these motherfuckers, we have we have different Batmans for crying out loud, and we can't even get a sequel to Man of Steel. That's it's fun. money grab, bro. Warner Bros. knows Batman's gonna sell whoever puts on the fucking cow. They're gonna sell. They're gonna sell. The but, 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 but it pisses me off because like superhero Superman literally was the, like I think he's probably like the first. Actual like superhero, like you know, Returns actually made more than Dark Knight, the the first one. Yeah, and I, I and that's what I hate is the fact that fans. Well, first off, I hate the the whole critique with Man of Steel. I feel like that movie twenty years from now is going to age like fine wine. Like motherfuckers will love it. Y'all literally, I think a lot of people hate it because it doesn't strip with or you know stick with the values that mm-hmm. Christopher Reeves uh, Superman Hitman delivers. People need to grow up. That super, Christopher Reeves Superman took place in a different time. Man of Steel, I feel like it's more realistic. It's modern day. It's actually a superhero who's actually questioning his ideology and, and you know, his beliefs, which you, the whole po- uh, point of Superman was the fact that he was, he, he grew up on Earth. He was a human. Yeah. You know, he basically, he had these human beliefs and human ideologies. So, of course, he's going to question himself because we, as people, question ourselves every day and in in our motivations. So, with that... You know, I, I think a lot of people, one of my reasons why I didn't like Superman Returns and why a lot of people uh, had problems with it was because maybe it stuck too close with the original. It didn't take big risks. It, the action sequ- uh, scenes weren't as great. Man of Steel did exactly that. It took mm-hmm. risks. It had action sequences that were no, great. Yeah, no. And yet people still hated it. And I feel like, you know, it's it's unfair to, to judge Henry Cavill, which I think he's a great Superman. I think he's one of my favorites. If I had one complaint about Henry Cavill as Superman uh, compared to Christopher Reeves, I think his Clark Kent and Superman are basically, basically same the same person. person. Um, you know, I, I always like Christopher Reeves, the way he was able to look all clumsy and, you know, like yeah. change his body language, look all sluggish. So I always, I always loved that. But I still think Henry Cavill was a good enough Superman and Clark Kent that to deserve, you know, a, another movie. I could agree with him. I'm not a super. I'm not a man of stuff. He'll tell you, I'm not. I don't like man stuff like that. But I do. I I think Henry Cavill was a great Superman, and I enjoy him as Superman, especially like in Justice League films or the just, uh, just, Justice Justice League. I thought he was great in there. Yeah. And I I think he's a cool. I think that Henry Cavill can be a great Superman. I think he has the potential to be a star in that role. I don't think he's the problem. I think, like he said, a lot of people have this this misconception. They have this previous this uh, preconception about what Superman was. 
and they don't want to change on from Superman. My, I'm not a Superman fan like that, so for me, it's not the same. I don't, I don't like Superman like that, but I don't, I mean, he likes, he loves Superman, so it's a little bit different. But I definitely think that that movie, he definitely should have a sequel. I will say that. I agree. He definitely should have a sequel. Long over. And I think if you gave him a trilogy, I think that'd be a great trilogy. You know what I mean? Like Christian, either Christian Bell's Batman. The first Batman movie, I think it's okay. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, a, it's not the best one. It's okay. It's all for a first film. But I mean, people love the Christian Bell Batman. Yeah. It grew on people more and more. You know what I mean? Even though his Batman, even the voice, I hate the voice. Yeah. I hate that when he changed his voice and did all that high voice, uh, that low voice shit. But besides that, I mean, I like Christian Bell's Batman. Yeah. So I, I definitely think he deserves. But Warner Brothers doesn't learn. I thought I thought Warner Brothers had learned by now after what happened with Birds of Prey, and Birds of Prey is a perfect example of when you try to force something down people's throat, and that's not genuine and it blows up in your face. Birds of Prey did didn't do did did horrible. I went and saw that movie. I went and saw that movie opening uh, that weekend it came out, and I walked out and be like, first off, that did not feel like Gotham. I felt like I was in California. That's the first problem. <laughs> Then it's like Gotham all. Gotham will be the slums. You know, Gotham has a certain look to like. That's one thing I like about the Joker with um um what's his name? The Joker movie, the, the solo Joker movie. Oh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. It felt like the slums. That's how it's supposed to feel. Every if you get Gotham in every every it's iteration uh, iteration of Batman, it's always felt like a slummy city. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's cool. Birds of Prey was all colorful. Gotham felt like California, and it forced this narrative of men are bad. Men ain't shit. Yeah. Men ain't shit. Every man, you go 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 back and watch that movie if you think I'm wrong. Go back and watch that movie and tell me one guy, one man besides the hyenas that are that are considered good guys. Even the Asian man that she lives with, they make him look bad because he rats her out. Yeah, and they make him look like shit. They made the man the police the police chief. Every every everybody. man in that movie looked like shit. They look they made men look bad. It was like a basically a shit on men, women empowerment, which I'm all for. I'm all for um, equal rights and women having a, uh, uh, fair pay and all that kind of stuff. I'm not against that. But, but the, that's the way that you try to force it, and, and that's you extreme. Have that as a general narr- narrative. Yeah, that's an extreme. Yeah. You're trying to say basically like, "Hey, men ain't shit. Fuck that." Like, I agree, women deserve better. I agree with that completely. I think he he does too. We agree with that. We have a sister. We have a mom. We agree with that. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you put a movie out and you basically force this narrative and made men look like they can't, like men are just a horrible, pe- horrible creatures. Um, I didn't like that, and I felt that was a forced part of the film, and that's why that film didn't do well. That film did horrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? My sister likes the film because she's a Harley Quinn fanatic, actually, so she actually, watched. Actually, said she. Did, I mean, she said that it was she liked okay. the Harley Quinn. She, she liked she liked the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn better, better yeah. Than she liked. Yeah, this movie was basically a whole bunch about just de- be up on men. That's all it was, and I don't like that. I thought Warner Bros. will learn after seeing how that film did. They will learn. A, we can't be doing shit like this. Like people say, what you want about Marvel. I know saying Marvel concept. I'm not trying to talk Marvel. I'm just trying. I'm comparing because I'm comparing these superhero films and how they do. And Marvel's only that can really compare it to. People say what you want about Marvel, but at least Marvel. I mean, they, they no, nah, like Marvel does be forcing some shit down your throat, but it ain't the same. Like it's it's more genuine. We're getting this. We're getting this. Um, damn, Miss Marvel show. Mm-hmm. The Pakistan Marvel. character. I think she's Pakistan, right? Or she yeah. just named it. Pakistan character, which is cool with me. It's it's organic. It's a real character. It's not changing. It's not changing fucking um, Scarlet Witch and making her uh, Pakistan. It's not doing that. It's a genuine character who is who's Pakistan. You know what I mean? I I, I like I like genuine shit. I don't want shit to be forced and changed. I, and it's funny because like I watch other people's reviews, like other people that talk about the same topic. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen many people. I haven't seen nobody who's cool with this shit. Yeah. Because it's not genuine. It's just a money grab, and it's not true to this character. To be honest, if there was. My my thing is if there wasn't a black Superman already, I probably would be okay. You know what? This is a different take. It's probably set in a different universe. I'm fine with something. But the like fact this. you had the character, but the already. fact that you already have a Calvin Ellis and you already have a Val Zod already, it makes no sense to me. And even if you don't want to include those people, John Henry Irons, still you yeah. have him. I mean, they did that Shaq one, and that shit was a little ass. And I'm not gonna lie, mm-hmm. but. John Henry Irons is still. That's another of uh, uh, you know Superman yeah. character basically. And that's my thing, people. They don't care about making characters that look like you. They do not care about that. They do not care about that. It's about a money grab because of what's going on the climate of the world right now. It's a money grab. Yeah. Black people are angry about a lot of shit, rightfully so. Hey, let's make a black Clark Kent and get the motherfuckers in the seats. That's a. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's not no damn. It's not genuine because if it was genuine, you take them black kids that you have over at DC and you be giving them films and yeah. pushing them and making them cool. That's how characters become cool. Characters don't just become cool like that. It takes generation and time. I'm not, I'm not saying it doesn't, 
But the, if, you, if you put it out there, you're going to have young kids, young kids of color, young kids, white kids, that are going to think this character is cool. And it's going to grow. And they're going to tell their kids. And they're going to tell their friends. And they're going to keep growing. That's how you grow characters. Like I said, Miles, Miles Morales. That's Miles Morales. Like, he's one of the most... Like, now people actually... I mean, people debate him. Who's a better Spider-Man? Him or Peter Parker? I mean, like... It's, yeah. I mean, it's one of those... he's cool. He's swaggier. Yeah, he's, he's swaggy. I mean, it's just... He's such a household name now. But you look at where he started originally. Mm-hmm. And, and now he has movies. You have, He has a video game now. Like, yeah, come we, on people now. have a little suit. We, has a, yeah. People fuck with him, man. What do you think about Spider-Man's like... A, Spider-Man's what? Probably the second most popular character in the... Probably second or third most popular oh, yeah, character in the world. Super, yeah. Superman, Batman. I don't know. It's probably Batman and Spider-Man and Superman or something like that. But you know the, you know that Spider-Man symbol. You know when Spider-Man... When people know Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows Spider-Man. So my thing is to, to have a character like Spider-Man who has this iconic suit, iconic character. New York City, iconic character. And to be able to have a character like Miles Morales come in there and people like, yeah, I love he like Miles Morales better than Sp- Peter Parker. That tells you... It's about just, you can make any character cool. You just got to do it right and do it justice. I don't know that much about the Val Zod stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really watch, I don't really, I'm not really heavy into DC like that. Mm-hmm. But I bet, I'll go see a movie about Val Zod. If you, if you give me a good story, a good movie, and I'm like, oh, shit, you know, that's a cool ass character. I look, he fuck with that character. I'm not going to get a figure of him. I, I fuck with that character. Yeah. But if, I'm, I'm saying, you can't just force the upon people. Also, but like, can we stop forcing the whole narrative where if it's a black character, I got to find a black director. I got to find Facts. that. Like if it's a if it's a female character, I gotta find a female director. Yes. How about find a, a director who actually knows about the comics and knows a bit about the character, or find the best man for the job? Because yeah. that, that article, the article says we're looking for a black director. Okay, so we're not looking for the best director in general. We're looking for the black director. That's the problem. That's not. That's what I'm saying. That equality stuff ain't. That's not equality because equality is when you can get the you get the best man for the job gets the job the best woman for the job gets the best person for the job gets the job man woman trans black white pakistani any, any race the best person gets the job if you're doing this you're not getting the best person for that for the job you're just getting the oh get the best black get the black person we want we want the tokenized black person the black person that's how you're doing that's not that's not equality that's what i'm saying like, i know i know some people like my friends they don't get that that doesn't make that i'm saying it doesn't make sense like you really think about it how that how's that good you're not. You're just making. If, if you're not making nothing great, you're just saying, yeah. "Hey, he black. Hey, black guy." Don't now, now the thing that's wrong with that is if you have all these uh, directors and you're choosing, and you're like, "I don't want to choose him because he's black." Then that's the problem. That's yes. the problem when you when you get rid of people on your list because of, of their of race, their race or, or, or sexuality. It's like, yeah, that's the problem. But the best man or the best woman should get the job regardless. That's how it should be. That's equal, that's, if you want equality, that's what equality is in Hollywood. The best man or best woman should get the job. And these characters, you shouldn't just take characters that are men or white or black or anything and just turn them because it's popular to do and you want to make a, you just want to change that character. Like, if you want that, if you want another female character or another uh, black character, another character of another race, Asian character, whatever, create a new character. And there's so much... You look, you look at the damn, all the Marvel and these shit, shit, that shit stands for over 75 years. You got so much history. You try something, you can't find stuff in there to use, to work with. Yeah. Don't tell me the material ain't there because the material's there. I know you got the material. Warner Brothers, you own this shit. You got the material for, all these, for these characters. I know there's fans account, there's fan accounts on Twitter that got the fucking, that know all about these characters. Like, I know y'all know, y'all know information about these characters. There's no way, oh, we didn't know we even had them. You know you had these characters. Yeah, you, can make, you can always make any character. I mean, look, you, you mentioned how, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, but also Watchmen. You look at that franchise. We, we, exactly. We didn't even care. Nobody, I did not even give a single fuck about Watchmen when it first came out. Watchmen, great film. It turned out to be a great film. I actually like the characters. But I didn't even know shit about them. But then you put out a great film that establishes every character story, and it turns out to be good. You like it. Shit, even Dr. Manhattan, they end up switching him out in, in the show to a black man. I didn't mind that because it was it was well written. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And also Dr. Manhattan is a character. I mean, he could switch. You know, yeah, he basically took the man. Yeah. The black dude was dead anyways. Yeah. He took the body of him. But yeah, yeah still, to, to be with the old Regina King. Yeah. But still, I mean, I, I, that's how I look at it, man. You know, Warner Brothers... I rock with the Kong versus Godzilla and the Mortal Kombat was strange, stuff like that, man. But this is this is bad, man. It's, this... This ain't what people want, man. This ain't what black people want. This ain't this ain't what people want, bro. This this ain't the this ain't the way. This shit forced. Bro. It's forced. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. Sell. I don't think it's gonna sell. I don't think it's gonna sell. I think people are gonna be like, if that shit's ass, people be like that shit's ass. 
Because I don't know how you take Clark Kent and tell me he's black. I, I think what's gonna be it's gonna be a one-off. Then I'm like, yeah, I ain't the wave. All right, back to what we know. Which is a waste of time. It's like, bro, this is the problem. I think Warner Brothers tries to compete with Marvel so bad when it comes to superhero stuff and about the the having these characters and and, and matching up the black characters stuff like that. I think they they've come to the point now. They're like, we gotta start catching up, bro. We gotta we gotta find some that hits yeah, for. They, we haven't had no hitters like that. We gotta find a hitter like Wonder Woman did. They, they need to stop doing that shit. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what Warner Brothers need to do. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Restore the Snyderverse. That's the only time. That's the only time I felt like fans actually were kind of. I mean. If you hated Zack Snyder's Justice League, then I, you just hated Zack Snyder. You just wanted to hate the movie. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's no way you can literally watch that movie and be or, like, it wasn't good. But enjoy. I will say, if you hate Zack Snyder and you hate hit the way his movies, at least love for the characters, because that's one thing that the man has gotten right. I feel like the characters were great in every one of his in in those movies. I feel like uh, Superman, Henry Cavill, good. Ezra Miller's Flash, great. Mm -hmm. Aquaman, great. All of them, great. Yeah. You can build on those characters. Or even if you want to do that. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but what, even if you want to do that. Why don't we go back? I know Marvel has spoils with the whole connections. Why don't you start making just individual films again? Here's your Batman. Here's your Superman. This shit do not connect. Here's your Green Lantern. Just start. Why don't y'all start with that first? Just get these characters out there. Let people fall in love with these characters. If they love the characters, then you can connect. Later them. on down the road, you want to start connecting stuff and making the, oh, okay, we can do this, we can do that. That's cool. But first, just get some, first you got to put characters out that people want to see, that you need to put out. Not even that want to see. People do want to see these characters, but you also need to put these characters. These are your main, hang, these are the main hitters. I mean, come on. These, these, Superman, these, Superman is a main hitter. Green Lantern is a main, these are, these are your setups. You get these characters, they're individual films, and don't connect the images. Just make separate films that are good films that can stand alone on their own. Then later on, people love this, love these films. Later on, you can connect stuff and make these and make these um uh team up movies and stuff like that. But don't start with that. That's the I think that's the part of the problem. Warner Brothers went in with the mindset: we got that more, we got to do these team up, we got to make all this stuff connect. No, let these directors make their own projects, and later on down the road, if it all works out, then you can start trying to combine things and make these films connect. That's how you gotta do it, man. You can't. You can't go with the mindset like Marvel did. Yeah, it's different. Not, not I can do that. And I've been I feel a lot of films. I'm just uh the DC, but a lot of films are starting like now that do that now. It doesn't work for everybody. It does not work for everybody. So people need to start going back to just making basic their own solo films. Let people do, let people love them and go from there. That's what you gotta do. But you know, else I had, bro. I'm pretty much done. Ugh, man. I had a little. Um, I had much to say. I just had to go a little like. Shit, I didn't have much. Bro. I had a little to say, man, because I, I I don't <laughs> like that. Man. I just don't like that. I don't I don't like that. No, I don't like that in society at all. But especially, I don't, I don't like when things are just forced upon. Like, I don't feel like that's, that's not solving the problem. You just give him, oh, let's give him the role. Fuck it. We're going for black people. It's not, it's not fixing the issues. That's part, it's not the fixing the problems of society. It's not fixing. You're just trying to please the audience at this moment. Because let's be honest, if the Black Lives Matter stuff and all that stuff wasn't, wasn't going on right now, you think they'd be making black Clark Kent? Clark Kent? No. Not. It's a money grab. But, um, I mean, it's just that. And also, you're pushing, other black characters to who, the side who uh, people may back in the day like i mean you look at some well, how, how do you think some of the writers felt that like you know wrote those characters and they're now taking a back seat they're, no they're not taking a back seat they've never been shown they've yeah. put in storage and they're never pulled out and then you're talking about making a black superman you know you probably have people like oh how's all coming bro he coming bro he coming and we're getting kal-el again just black yeah it's a problem like, it's just a, it's a lack of originality Opinion. It is. Um, it's laziness. Yeah, for sure. But man, it's just ugh. Warner Brothers, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all continue to piss me off with this bullshit. Um, I just. And don't worry, brother. Yeah. I mean, what we got? It's, di it's disappointing, but Warner Brothers. I will not see another Warner Brothers superhero movie from you ever again until you bring Henry Cavill back. Warner Brothers, probably. I guess we don't see you ever again. <laughs> You take care, buddy. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, hey, I'm I'm be honest. When the Batman comes out, I'm gonna be dressed up in a trench coat, wearing a hat, sunglasses. I'm gonna be like, I'll take like, two. I'll like, take. Uh, one. Uh, I'll be like, like Raphael. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah. uh, I'll, be like, I'll take <laughs> one ticket to go see the Batman, please. <laughs> All secretive, bro. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna know it's me in there. What the Batman come out this year? That come out in uh, March. Nice. Yeah. Birthday month. Nice. But I don't, I don't mind having the separate universe. That, I, that's actually the one. More sense. That's actually one thing that DC actually announced that does make sense. Is <laughs> establishing multiverse. I don't mind that. I mean, do I feel like the Flashpoint movie is a little too soon? Probably, Probably. is too soon. It yes. should be like halfway through the damn universe. But I feel like if you, at this point, if you're gonna recap or you know 
what's it called? Repair whatever you thought was broken, which I don't think Zack Snyder broke anything. I thought, you know, DC was right, you know, my opinion. Mm. But if you're going to repair whatever the hell you guys want to repair, the multiverse is the only way to do it. But I still wish that you would keep a lot of the actors like Henry Cavill, who deserves... Well, he won't leave him. Him and Ben Affleck. Yeah, I know. And that's my, that's my problem. Is that they want, going is that, yeah, they want to recast and they want to do this shit because they, they oh, it's just to establish continuity and, and all this or, or reboot the characters. But I'm like, you want to reboot Superman and Batman, but not one, like, you, like, you want to keep Wonder Woman and Aquaman Flash. You want to keep all them characters. And also you want to recast Cyborg. Then like, it's about the money again. Yeah. Wonder Woman sold, Wonder Woman's probably one of the highest grossing DC films of late. Wonder Woman. Aquaman did very well. People like, people got a good reaction. That did well. I'll be honest. If you released Man of Steel today, I feel like it would have made more money than it would have back then. Because as a, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, as a kid, I wasn't really excited for it. The trailers, I mean, I didn't really see the advertisements for it. I didn't really see trailers. Yeah. You know, like like I don't see trailers as uh, back then that I do now. Like I see yeah, social media like that. Yeah, yeah, social media. Social media plays a factor. So I feel like nowadays, if Man of Steel was released in today's climate, I feel like it would have made more money at the box Maybe. office. Maybe. I can agree with that. Maybe. But that's the thing, though. Superman, that's probably one of the films that people are really eh, controversial about. So they say, hey, you know what? Let's get rid of that because people are controversial. They're going, they're trying to keep what made the money and reboot whatever else. They know Batman, if they reboot Batman, bro, they can reboot Batman in five, they can do Batman next year and reboot that bitch again in another year and, and people will go see money. it. Because Batman sells regardless. Batman, he sells. So then I, that's why I think they recasted Batman. They're like, hey, we're going to reboot that shit. Hey, we'll, we'll make money off it. Superman, I think they should have kept on to the story. If they want to get a new director for it, that's fine. I think Superman, the problem with Superman is this. He's a character that's very difficult to do because he has a lot of good boy traits and that people don't want to see that. A lot of people, some people don't want to see that shit. Some people do want to see that shit that's uh, classic to the character. Mm -hmm. So you have a, you're in a hard place when it comes to Superman. But that's why I said you need to get the right director to direct Superman. It's about getting the right person to come in there and do the project. Zach's trying to do a bad, I don't think Zach's trying to do a bad job with his film. I'm not saying he did. Well, I'm saying if, you're, if people want, if, want if you bring, don't want it to be as controversial, you gotta get the right one. Yeah, I understand. Oh, what I'm saying is like if you don't, if you don't want to bring back Zack Snyder, keep Henry Cavill. Just get somebody else come direct the Man of Steel too. Yeah, Patty Jenkins. Also, I'm gonna be the youngest man. I almost cried today. I saw that interview with Zack Snyder where he's Army of the Dead, and he was talking about his Man of Steel sequel and how he was gonna have Brainiac <laughs> and the other Kryptonians from the Phantom Zone. Bro, I, Sorry, I, my God. I cried, bro. Sorry, I was like, God. I was like, we were, we were, we were wrong. <laughs> we were whole. We were bamboozled. Who did we? Who did we? Ran him up. Let us No, 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 no. I feel like we were whole, man. No, Ooh, like why? Why do y'all? Why y'all do this? Why do you do it to me? Why? Say, hey, we gotta reboot, man. I was a supporter. I love Man of Steel. Why you do? Why? Oh, fuck you, Warner Brothers, man. Why you? Why y'all try so hard to get rid of this man? What did this man? This man. So that's not even Cal. We talking about. Any of them did. Well, Zach Snyder, first off, does Zach Snyder fuck all the directors and all the. All the I don't hear the Does Zach Snyder fuck all the executives' wives or something? I don't. Because that, that's the only way I can see why you would hate this guy so much. Bro, because Zack Snyder was outside the box, bro. He was doing something that was different than Marvel. They didn't want that. They wanted the Marvel formula. But uh, I'm not saying that's right. You don't have to do the Marvel formula to make good films. That's what I'm saying. They basically have said, oh, Marvel's making <laughs> what how much money off of Guardians of the Galaxy? Off these all these less known characters? And we 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 made the same thing as them. We got Superman, we got a problem. The problem is that they didn't like Zack Snyder's direction. They wanted something more like Marvel. They had the Marvel formula so they can they can make the money like, oh, oh, people can like it. It's like Marvel, come over here. Which you can't do that with those characters. It's not the same kind of characters. Superman DC's a lot more darker, is detective comics, different. So Zack Snyder, I don't think his plan was bad. I think people they weren't ready, they weren't for, ready that shit. for it. Yeah. That's just outside the box of what they want they want to do. They were trying to think like Marvel. they wanted to think like what Marvel was doing. Now watch, watch, I don't know if it would happen, but watch Zack Snyder come to Marvel, make some dope shit, then DC go like, damn, yeah, well, we better fucked up. Come on back. But it ain't gonna happen. But if he ever did come to Marvel and do some dope shit, I mean, because that kind of a great director. I rewatched watched 300 a couple days ago. That kind of a great director. He great directs great films. I'm not saying he doesn't. And I think his ideas were there. Mm -hmm. And if you want him directing, you could have him producing shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And being honest, like, we went to the, what, the Snyder Cut exhibit? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We, we looked at his plot for the rest of the Justice League movies. There were actually some ideas that I actually liked that I would have to Some were okay. Some were okay. Some were, I was uh, like, eh. You know, maybe maybe it would have been better if he had someone, you know, in his ear be like, oh, okay, I, I think we should change this up yeah. a little bit. But I, I, I think with Zach Snyder, it's one of those things where, like, 
you it's fine to you know knock some of his ideas and be like, hey Zach, we should go a little bit with this direction. But the thing Warner Brothers was doing, they were like, fuck your ideas. Like they were just dismissing them. They were just completely like, yeah. fuck this shit. Exactly. We ain't doing this bullshit. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I felt like they they could have just they, it would have been better had. Warner Brothers and Zack Snyder have been able to meet on common ground, which unfortunately they weren't able to do. You know, they were just two very determined people who, you know, they just couldn't meet. Exactly. I completely agree with them, man. It's, you know, it's, it's sad to see, man, because you don't want that in Hollywood. You don't want that in the world in general. You don't want... You, we, we all... Everyone out here fighting for change and equality and stuff like that, and that's not what we're really... I feel like people want that, but then people are also okay with getting stuff like this, which is not equality. Just, hey, we're going to make y'all happy by giving y'all a character and changing them black instead of giving you what you already have that's yours. I mean, take it, we're just going to give you ours. I mean, I don't, I don't like that. Well, that's me personally. But as far as Warner Brothers, man, you know, um, sucks to see it, man. But y'all going to do what y'all want to do. You know, you're going to make your money and shit. But it's hard, man. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> yeah, anyway, terrible news on hey, Warner Brothers' part. They didn't do Spiral, did they? What do you mean? Warner Brothers, that's Warner Brothers, shit? is it? Oh. Spiral? I don't know. Mm-hmm. If Warner Brothers, the Spiral's yours, I don't know if Spiral's yours. I'll be seeing that this week is. So I guess, uh, I guess you got my money one more time soon. I think Spiral was Warner Brothers, yeah. I think. I think it is, I think it is Warner Brothers. Is it Warner Brothers? Let me find out. Uh, or the universe? Oh, damn, I ain't even obviously. Is it one of them? Oh no, it's Lionsgate. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> good to go. All right, <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, let us know your thoughts down below on you know DC casting, uh, of having a black Clark Kent for J.J. Abrams and Tom A.C. Coates new Superman movie or Superman reboot that they're trying to do. Uh, let us know your thoughts down below. If you liked our discussion, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to tune in for more. I'm DeAndre, you guys. <laughs> I'm Javante, guys. Be sure to take care and deuces. Also, hey. man, still too, man. Let's 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 start a hashtag. Let's get that going, man. We need we need that. I think you hashtag a lot on that, man. I still yeah. don't know why. I do be seeing that. My brother don't be listening. <laughs> But, but much love, you guys. Y'all have a good um, y'all have a good night. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, we just giving our opinions. You know, we love to hear yours in the comment section, like DeAndre already stated. So you know, yeah. I'll just qu- oh, a quick thing I want to add. Warner Brothers, they literally wake up every day and they just they always wake up and they tell themselves, "How the how, how can we how can we fuck everybody? <laughs> how can we fuck everybody today? How can, how can well, what, what's today's plan to fuck everybody? <laughs> oh, okay, let's get rid of this here. Them suits, bro. Them suits are gonna get they need. A, Take a back scene and just learn, bro, and look around. But, you know, I ain't going to be on much longer. We probably running so kind of long. Yeah, that's what I was kind of long. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, guys. Much love.